Hi everyone, Metagrid here with the first installment of our series on our A-frame greenhouse project here on the homestead. Uh, the thing I like about an A-frame style greenhouse is you use the minimum amount of materials for the function of the building. Uh, the entire south side of the A's will be glazing, you know, of course, uh, pointed towards the sun. And then I plan on uh, insulating the north A's to uh, keep a lot of that solar gain in the greenhouse during the winter months when it does occasionally get below freezing here. Uh, we hope to have a, some sort of rocket mass heater in the space to uh, provide additional heat during the winter months. Uh, we're going to be trying to grow some reasonably warm weather crops. Um, you can see on the uh, east side there of the greenhouse, there's a lot of uh, alder trees. Those will all be cut down for firewood, hopefully to feed the uh, rocket mass heater as well as the wood stove in our home. There's a couple of nice cedars there too that we may use for uh, uh, with our Alaska sawmill to uh, saw into boards and that sort of thing for various projects around the property. Um, if you look up top there, you can see that we've extended the uh, poles on the south side of the building quite a bit above the uh, ridge of the building, and that's to provide a mounting surface for solar panels to provide solar charging for our uh, various off-grid power systems here. Um, that should be a, a plenty of space to mount three or four separate 800-watt arrays, which will provide more than enough power. Um, the south face should be about 800 square feet of glazing. Uh, we're going to use this twin wall poly here. It comes in up to a 900 foot roll, but we won't need that much. You can get eight foot wide and four foot wide. This is the four foot wide here. It's uh, R2.5 insulative value, so it should hold the heat in fairly well. And uh, it transmits, oh, something like 79% of the available light. And it diffuses the light uh, quite a bit too, which, uh, you know, helps provide more even light to the plants and uh, encourages plant growth because all the plants get more even light in the greenhouse. Um, so moving on to the foundation of the uh, greenhouse, uh, we have these... Uh, Gabions, basically they are, uh, there's one at each corner. They're uh, rock-filled circles of uh, two-inch mesh fencing. They're used quite often for uh, ret retaining walls on building projects and that sort of thing, but they work quite well for um, building supports. I've, I've got another A-frame that has some uh, electrical equipment, some inverters and that sort of thing. And it's been around for about 10 years with absolutely no movement. It's a beautiful little system, super cheap, easy to build. Um, on top of the gabions, we have two nice big uh, hemlock poles. Those were cut and peeled about two weeks ago. Um, they're drying nicely, just a little bit of cracking and checking, but shouldn't be a problem because they're nice big thick uh, hemlock logs there. Uh, the A's are made out of hemlock and fir poles that we've uh, cut and peeled. And of course we cut those out of the uh, area south of the A-frame to get more light in here. And uh, it's kind of nice dual use of that. I mean, we're not letting anything go to waste. We're cutting down a few of those smaller trees and then using them to, uh, to build the building for us to uh, help feed ourselves. So, yeah, we'll be providing updates on the project as it progresses. And uh, for now, this is Metagrid signing off.